updates now to the high chateau fire that broke out this afternoon in Teller County. Here's what we know tonight. It's burned over 400 acres. No structures have been lost. County roads 11 and 111 remain closed. Multiple crews, including crews from Colorado Springs, are helping out in that firefight this evening. And here are the evacuations of the High Chateau fire. They include the High Chateau and Highland Meadows subdivisions. About 111 homes in all are evacuated. Our team coverage continues now with News 5's Katie Blaze live at Cripple Creek High School, which is open as a shelter for those evacuees tonight. Katie. Robin Elizabeth, not a huge crowd staying here tonight, about 20 people. The Red Cross tells me most evacuees are staying at hotels or with family and friends. But if you still need a place to stay tonight, the shelter will be open overnight, cots provided. And this food trailer behind me, they will be open tomorrow morning offering free breakfast for evacuees. Now, the Red Cross tells me about two dozen people use the shelter today to get out of the heat, get some food and water, and to try and get an update on their homes. Light smoke, gray smoke, black smoke, brown smoke. That's what Lisa Morris saw less than half a mile from her home. Scared me to death. <laughs> started, started, you know, the wheels turning about what we needed to take to, to get out of there safely. The sheriff showing up soon after, telling her she needed to get out. I grabbed some papers and technology and <laughs> some clothes for my grandchildren. And that was it. The most difficult part of it is things that can't be replaced. Um, you know, I think about my grandmother's quilt that I just got. I, I didn't bring it. Neighbors Dan and Ronnie Reisman also evacuated. And the sheriff was right there, and he, all he said was, go fast. The two heading to Cripple Creek High School, and now hopeful that their beloved summer cabin is spared from the flames. We built it ourselves. It's, it's very special. They're not the only ones displaced by the fire. Over at Cripple Creek Fairgrounds, over a dozen evacuated animals also adjusting to a temporary home. We've got dogs, we've had a few cats, we got geese, chickens, goats, and horses. Out of town visitors like Bobby Shavaria stepping up to help, no questions asked. If we can help, I mean, that's all we can do from this point. I mean, it's just to help people get their animals safe and get them back safe. and. That's all we can do. While everyone is on edge, uncertain of what they'll return to once the flames are out, the focus now. Hopefully everybody is safe and there's been no lost life. Well, no word yet on how long this shelter will be open. The Red Cross tells me the only donations needed right now are animal crates for cats and dogs. And of course, we will continue to keep you updated on this fire both here and online at KOAA.com. For now, always watching out for you, Teller County, Katie Blaze, News 5.